YouTube, this is Kent Museum, and we're here in Prescott, Arizona, and we're visiting the Charlotte Hall Museum. Prescott was a very important city back in the 1800s because this was the state capital of Arizona when it was still known as the Arizona Territory. This is where they had the mansion for the governor before the state capital moved to Phoenix, Arizona, which is two hours away from here. So it's pretty interesting. So if you want to know more about the history of Arizona, this is the best place to be. And it's called the Charlotte Hall Museum. It has a lot of history about the native culture and all that. And that's what you're looking at here right now. And they are also showcasing other stuff that are related to the history of Arizona, like mining and all that. But this is like a natural history kind of exhibition here. Uh, if you look at the mural behind me, you'll see that it's all a natural history kind of exhibition, the one behind there. So, so this is how it is. So again, it's Think Museums. And if this is something that interests you and you're in Prescott, Arizona, stop by here at the Charlotte Hall Museum and enjoy this exhibition. Uh, we're going to walk down to the governor's mansion, which was built around the 1800s and I'm going to show you how it looks like. This was the state capital of Arizona in the 1880s. Back then Arizona was not a state but a territory of the United States before it was purchased. Right, we're going to check out the governor's mansion. This is the original mansion for the governor of Arizona back then. Congress to serve and so then Richard McCormick became the second governor. That of course was back before Arizona was a state and before there were elections. The, between the two of them they occupied the house from the years of 1864 to 1867. So what you see in the house is from that time period. It doesn't belong to them but it is from the time period. The placards on the wall will answer a lot of your questions but if they don't Ask me, mm -hmm. and then I'll tell you about the rest of the house as you go through. All right. You're Thank welcome. You. Hi. Thank you. Have you seen the display in the other building? The main building? Um, we yeah. did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know what might ever think that might be. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> represents the history of the Arizona Territory oh, okay. from 1864 when it was really founded yeah. to 1900 when it almost burned, the town burned down. Oh, wow. So we've got the gold discoveries, the arrival of the military, uh -huh. the arrival of the ranchers to feed mm. the military, yeah. and then the book of the town. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> What's up with these guys? Come and see this. <laughs> here, come, here, here come the horribles. Here come the horribles. That's pretty interesting. Just like a show. Oh, so it's an, they were trying to compete with New Orleans because New Orleans had the Mardi Gras, and Prescott wanted to do this. They show the horribles. 
to compete. That's pretty awesome. They should be doing it every now and then after now, you know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, did somebody put on this? I love those boots, but they... They're too tiny. Look, look yeah. at the difference oh, yeah, between like, how narrow they are. Yeah, I'm like, who's wearing those? It's like a half a foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, foot binding there, okay, yeah. in a different oh, way. Chinese, but, uh, they were yeah. the first. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I privately wondered if these are salesman samples. Yeah. Oh, man. Right the salesman would take mm -hmm. samples on it. Yeah. And tell you, I can make something like this for you. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine. I, I've yet to find the lady who says, oh, my like size. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's foot will fit yeah, in there now. That. The no. length might be fine, but the width is just, it's so, yeah, it's so narrow. It's so narrow. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, I've got <laughs> wide feet. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me question mine, right? Yeah. Well, look, we did one thing for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's got fire. So blacksmithing is black is the trade of blacksmithing still there? You know, I'm just wondering. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if if blacksmithing is something that is still going on. You know, I doubt if people are still doing, we still have blacksmiths around. <laughs> wow. This is how they made newspapers. Wow, so you have to take each one of them and pull it. Mm -hmm. That was... Every letter. That was interesting. Wow, nice this is beautiful. This is pretty interesting. Yeah. So I'm here at the Charlotte Hall Museum in Prescott, Arizona. And this is the transport house. And they have all this cool stuff here. Look at that. Yeah. So they have like this kind of wagons. This is a 1895. I remember seeing this in movies. Mm -hmm. People pulling uh, with cows, pulling them oh. with bulls. Um, these but ones, they they were using these to get across country, right? Yeah, it's like a freight. Mm -hmm. But it was usually horses, I thought. Yeah, it's they horses. They go longer distance. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. Wondering, uh, why would somebody think that a bicycle should be like this was too uncomfortable? You know, why could we just do it like this? What was so difficult? Well, this was more of a circus act. No, it was for going in town to buy your groceries. Why would anyone want to buy? <laughs> That's what I'm like thinking. Like, well, so guys, this was our tour of the Charlotte, Charlotte Hall Museum here in Prescott, Arizona. It was very interesting. The history is very captivating. It really captures the images of Arizona back then when it was just a territory. So thank you guys again for watching.